Hi, I'm Dana Robinson, and welcome to Plumpy Thimble. Today I want to look at a game that I assumed was a staple in most households growing up. Uh, it's, it's a game that I have known about my entire life. I uh, only started playing it recently, however. But I was curious to see which iteration of this game came before uh, the other. And in the Wikipedia page for Dutch Blitz, which is what we're looking at today, I noticed that it was primarily... Um, it was predominantly popular in German and Dutch communities, especially amongst the uh, Pennsylvanian Amish, I guess, uh, which I thought was odd. Uh, then then I, I kind of gave it some thought. And yeah, you know, I've, I've been familiar with this game most of my life. However, I grew up, uh, you know, my dad was a pastor and I was homeschooled my whole life. So I thought, well, that's, you know, kind of in the bubble. But, you know, I, I moved moved a couple states away, so I figured that maybe, you know, it couldn't just be that I've been in this bubble my whole life. Uh, so I moved to a town called Linden. And this is not the only full-sized windmill that this town has. Uh, it's a very large Dutch community. My wife's family absolutely adores this game. So again, I went my whole life sort of assuming this is a staple, and that may not necessarily be the case. Now, I don't know for sure, but I thought it'd be fun to take a look at, because it is... Uh, it's a game that, in recent years, I've kind of really, really love, and it's, um, yeah, it, there's more to it than it would seem. Essentially, Dutch Blitz is Nerts. Now, if you're not familiar with Nerts, uh, it's a game that you can play with a normal deck of cards. Everyone has their own deck of cards, uh, and it's sort of group speed solitaire. So it takes, you know, the, the aspect of solitaire, um, where you're matching numbers and you're trying to get rid of all your cards, but it removes any sort of... Uh, Zen motivation, any sort of calming aspect to the game, which uh, is, is something that a lot of people really enjoy. Uh, and it replaces that calming factor with heart palpitations and, and absolute nervous breakdowns. Dutch Blitz has a unique um, deck for each player. So as you can see, I usually play as the red buggy and my wife will play as the green water pump. Now this is used to identify cards at the end of the round so that you can see who has how many points. Now there's technical names for each of these piles for you know, your deck of 10 cards here, your pile here, and anything you throw out here. I apparently lost the rule book, so I, d I don't have those with me currently. But that's not important. I'm just gonna quickly go over the gameplay. Um, the object of the game is, uh, and you know, you can be playing with a number of different people. This is a set for one, to, uh, two to four players. You can get expansions so that up to eight people can play. Um, you can call Blitz at the end of the game as soon as you get this pile of 10 cards out onto the table in front of you. And the only way to do that is similar to, uh, similar to Solitaire, is to throw out cards and have them be in ascending order. So if I have the red one, I can throw that out in the middle pull a card from this pile, and put it out here amongst the three that I already have. So I now only have nine cards here. I'm that much closer to being able to end the round if I so choose to do that. Now every one of my cards that's out in the middle of the, in the, middle of the table with my, my red buggy on the back of it is one point for me. As the game continues, this deck's gonna dwindle. You're able to kind of play some solitaire type situations where you can stack cards on top of each other depending on the number. Um, basically, this is the pile that you wanna get rid of. Now, if you're stuck, you've got this whole pile of other cards, three at a time, similar to solitaire. You can look at them and see if there's anything that you can use to throw out there. Now, everybody's playing cards until someone plays the last card in their little 10 pile here. Once that's played, uh, the player that played it has the option to yell blitz. Now they don't have to, but they have that option to freeze the entire game. The game stops. Everybody flips over the piles, counts the number, or separates them into their respective backs. Each player is awarded that many points for the round. Now the kicker is here, your little pile of 10 cards, if you have any left over, they're negative two points for each round. Play continues until one player's reached 100 points. Dutch Blitz is, is one of those dead simple games that you're probably going to hate the first few times that you play it. I know that I did. I absolutely detested this game uh, because the people that teach it to you are super into it. They're also very quick. 
they already have the reflexes necessary to be good at this game. That being said, there's so much satisfaction when you can blitz before they do. Uh, it doesn't take long to catch on. It's, it's not the type of game that you know, you'll be struggling with your entire life. It's a quick, fun game that uh, is easily taught and is super, super addictive. It's the kind of game that we pull out uh, every Christmas, every Christmas Eve, most holidays where there's a big group of us getting together, Dutch Blitz is going to be coming out. Now, it's a game that most people know, um, at least in my circle of family and friends. This is a game that, while you know, maybe they've never seen a designer board game, they know exactly what Dutch Blitz is. And it's that common ground that is one of the reasons that it gets played so often. Um, easy to teach and addictive. Those are two combinations, uh, those are a combination of two things that really make this game come out continually. Now, unfortunately, the components, I mean, it's just decks of cards, they're really not very great. So these are, this is a relatively new deck. The one that my in-laws have when we mix the decks, it's really apparent because this is, these essentially just become worn out paper. Um, thankfully, it's a super cheap game. It's one that you can get online in most stores I think Target even sells it. It's on Amazon for like eight bucks or something. It is an absolute blast. It, it looks, I can see how it's not very appealing. It was not appealing to me when they showed it to me. I hated it when I first played it. Slowly over the course of a few years, I have come to absolutely love this game for a lot of different reasons. There's something to a game when you can play it multiple times, lose horribly, and still have a blast doing it. And it's because the speed aspect of the game. Everyone's throwing cards out. You can add cards to different piles. You can, you've got the option to uh, stack your cards solitaire style just to get those cards out of your little deck of 10 cards here so that you can blitz faster than anyone else. The more cards you're putting onto the table, the more points you're getting, but the faster you can go out, the more negative points you can give the other players. This is one that will stay in my collection and I'll, I'll continue to buy as the cards continue to get worn out because it gets played that often. So if you've not given Dutch Blitz a try, give it a shot. If you're curious and you don't want to spend the money about it, uh, and you don't want to spend the money on it, check out the rules for Nerds, which is found online. It's, it's free if you've got decks of cards. You just need to have um, different colored decks or decks of cards that have pictures on the back so you can differentiate between players. They're essentially the same game. It's an absolute blast, and really do recommend that you check it out. And if you stop by, maybe we can play sometime. Alright, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.